buzzing off this HDMI tech here. So I got a little better uh, setup here. Um, I'm gonna try to adjust. See that makes it a little better. It's a small light, but you know it's really efficient. It's under twenty dollars. I decided to get this instead of a game. They were sold out of the PS4 Medieval, which I played on the PS1 back in the day. And um, twenty, thirty dollars, thirty-five dollars, wherever or more, or thirty-two dollars for tax and all that, of course, because it's thirty dollars for the PlayStation Store. And our store sold out of the game, of course. So the other store around us has the game, but uh, that's just not PlayStation. <laughs> a controller, a desyncing, saving power. So, I'm gonna ask Lee if I can find a controller. I do have a YouTube audio hooked up, YouTube on the thing, and I might just turn off the audio so you won't have to be able to pick it up. The good thing about this is that sound system makes it a whole lot better for me. I don't have to worry about, you know, two different sound systems, just one. If one's unplugged, I mean, if it's silence, you know, it turned off, there's no others. It doesn't even play the speakers on the that TV, so I don't have to worry about it, so that's a good thing. So it's flexible, smaller, I guess, whatever call it, 24 ring lights, too. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully it makes good footage. The other thing is still charging from this one, so I'm waiting for that. At dinner, and um, hopefully this gets a good video. How's that for? Is that? I don't know what that is. Whatever. So, uh, yeah. Flexible. It had a hard time holding my phone, by the way. I probably don't recommend it with a case like this, and it's, it, it weighs a ton. I think for at least a pound. If I had a way, something that's more efficient on weighing, I would, but you know, it's pretty heavy. Junk. It's got a big protector on it. And in fact, it's got a crack on it, so I gotta replace that. I'm gonna do it like another $40 or $50 from Verizon. Verizon's nearby for me, I just have to walk over, but I think they're closed right now. Close to it, they open at you know, 10 o'clock in the morning around my area so I don't know if you can go in there with this uh, virus going around but who knows so new wave I know definitely not they're so closed and I gotta check them out and see if I get their bill in there because I took off money today for payday because the coin shortage is done now we can get money out and I can start taking so much off a month, you know, per paycheck, what can I, what, what I can afford, of course, and, um, you know, I try to put that into regions, so, in a bank, so, it's not one of those checking accounts or savings, they'll just hold the money, you know, there'll be no fees, so it's like, yeah, and you know, there's another stimulus check coming out, they're trying to, I think it's coming out in about a couple of weeks, so it's another twelve hundred dollars so, that's like, um, $2,400 plus the wherever I had before that, the, you know, taxes back and all that. And it's a good chunk. It would surely buy a new iMac. For sure, plenty enough to buy the same two thousand dollar thing and whatever else. So, yeah. And if you are working at Walmart and you have the option to put in stock, I would recommend it for sure. Cause it's it's been going up. I didn't check it today, but I used to check it a lot, but that's been so negative. Verizon's back a lot. They're really oh we're behind. I'm watch it really, really behind after hours. Oh, they're ahead. Okay, they're above. So, they started at $131.64. Now it's $131.92. Alright. And you know, you start investing, it'll add up quick over the couple of years that I've been investing. So, if you can only afford like $20 a paycheck, which I do, go with it. <laughs> it's not too bad, I really think about it. 
have all that extra when you retire to, you know, it'll add up. And I never thought it would go past 100 and within like three years, but it did. It was like at $70, $80 a uh, stock price when I started, started investing a couple of years ago in October when I earned, you know, the full-time status thing and all that uh, for insurance and obvious reasons. Like I, for, you know, do the hemophilia. It was a good move. And then we can move that, so you start putting money away, and I, I just maximize it 50% each year. And if you put it away, you won't miss it, because that's what I do. I forgot how much I put in 401k, but it's, it's quite a bit, and they match up to a certain amount. So, uh, for each company has that as well. So, but with the stock market and everything else going, I, I don't have to catch it. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not losing money, but I don't know. I know I got a good chunk of stock, I know that for sure, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, Dow Jones is really down. Ooh, 300 points. Almost 300 and a half. Oh my god. That's a lot of companies. Intel's, whoa, man, they're down. They went way down. AMD's in worse. They thought I'd be doing better, and they're actually negative 2.22. Intel's less 0.65. That gear stuff. Mm. I'm not gonna do the Disney because I know that's not looking good at the moment. Amazon. Limited 113.3. So it's down. So click on it. They're down one. Yelp is up. Etsy's up. Facebook just took a plummet as well. So Apple is the worst by far 4.55 they're feeling the burn yeah they just get brighter without me I must have in that mode I guess I don't even I don't even look at the instructions for this light that much you just power it up first time and uh, I guess it changed color brightness so uh, yeah Navita they're really down they're like almost three percent so two flags is up 20 percent Twenty dollars a share. Man, you know how much I could buy off that? I can almost pay off a full share in two weeks. Man, or were they were four? I want to go two years. They climbed it this year. I'm sure when that wires came around. Man, I should I'm trying to get the load correctly. I can't get it to. Oh, okay, tail 19 at 50 something. The yeah, highest was $70.43. And then when March hit, it really plummeted bad to $11.80. And now it's finally going back up. July 1st, $19.87. Yeah, so it's not looking good. We just go there a lot, but not anymore. Google. Oh my god. Yeah, it's straight down. Nothing about it. Uh, France, is, France is basically equal. There's nothing changed. They're in the green still. They ain't lost anything yet. Ford's up. 0.25%. So, yeah, there's some serious companies in the red. They've been warning for the start market crash for a while. I've been hearing it for like probably about two years. Don't see anything on the web. So, yeah, they've been warning about it. And that's so much, and then they stopped buying while this uh, virus was around. It's going to lead us into another. Um, 
recession, and everything hasn't been really a lot worse than the last one, so, um, it's how it happened last time, so, my mom probably went through that when he was young, during his lifetime, and, um, that's my mom's father, by the way, so, uh, he grew up during the Great Depression, so it's going to be probably worse as they, as they understand it, predicting it to be worse, so, um, yeah, people are going less outside, I mean, I, thankfully, the stock market look doesn't look too bad, but it could get far worse if we don't get this bubble under control, and get the debt, the debt's already up trillions of dollars, really, yeah, we have to get some loans out of wherever else, whoever needs the money, but, you know, I'm looking forward towards another couple hundred dollars, probably going to go towards the house, probably, at least, or whatever, but whatever, it's fine. If you need to channel, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, well, thanks for watching, see ya.